All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're here to look at a brand new feature that literally just popped up inside of my Discord window, which is the new custom themes function. And what this means is normally inside of Discord, you could go to your appearance settings, which is all the way down here. And this would allow you to pick from a bunch of different presets, which were just gradients that you could make. Or you can now click on this option here to create a custom theme. And when you create a custom theme, it pops up in the right hand sidebar or replaces the right hand sidebar over here on the side. And this allows you to pick a light mode. And then you can make a light mode that's like a tinted color, which is very handy if you like light mode but you want to have it different colors or you can have it dark mode which we all recognize is the superior mode uh where we can also have different colors and my favorite here is if you're not quite sure what you're into or what you're in the mood for for a gradient you can just hit the surprise me button and it'll play around with three different colors to create some combination that you may or may not like and it looks like you can add a whole bunch of colors uh, to a maximum of five that you can then play around with. And then once you've added the five, if you hit surprise, oh, it still goes back. I was going to say, if you add five colors, does it let you randomize five colors? It does not yet. But you can get a good start if you just decide like, oh, do I want some like green or do I like blue and purple? I personally like blue and purple a lot, so I could totally add some new colors in here. And then if you click on any of these colors up here, out of the five that I've added, I can then tweak what colors end up getting blended together and where they end up getting blended so that I can make something wholly unique at any one time so that it's exactly what I'm kind of in the mood for. Something that would be kind of nice is if you could save some presets to this, but I would suspect if that ever gets added, that will be added in the future. But what you can also do is you can change the intensity or the saturation of the colors so you can kind of dial it back to more of like a dark black color or really bright so it's almost like going back to light mode. And then you can also change the direction of the uh, angle of rotation, I should say, of the gradient so that you can kind of determine where the colors go. And that's kind of handy. I like the ability to customize, but if you don't like it, you can always just go back to one of the presets and use whichever one that you enjoy. And if there's one thing I know, it's that being able to customize stuff the way you like it is important. It would also be nice if they would allow you to like really get into the nitty gritty with this software and like upload background images and animations and stuff like some of the Discord enhancement programs let you do, but one step at a time. And this is a good step in the right direction, I feel like. So this is how you use the new custom themes options. I'm just gonna go ahead and randomize it until it has something I kinda like. Uh, just blue, straight blue to purple is not bad. Uh, this one's pretty nice. I kinda had like a blue thing going on before, blue and teal. This one works, I'll stick with this one. When you hit apply, it'll save it. And then if you wanna tweak this at any time, you just go back to your user settings. Then down here in the middle under app settings in the left hand sidebar is appearance. And then you can tweak this at any time by hitting the custom theme button, which is the paint palette inside the color themes. It's currently nitro only. Uh, or you could just click one of these other presets that they already have and use that instead. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. This has been a brief look at how to customize your own custom themes inside of discord and i'll catch you next time bye everybody and have a good one